everyone, welcome back to another ESL podcast. This is your host, Arsenio, as usual. You know what? Today is episode number 19. We're going over vocabulary. We're going over phrasal verbs connected with travel. Now, I remember the first time I met a Japanese girl on the bus out there in Honolulu, Hawaii. She could not speak any English. You know what? She couldn't understand this. She couldn't understand the vocabulary. She couldn't she couldn't even say hello. And I thought it was amazing because she was able to get all the way around the island without knowing any English. But you know what? I don't want you to be part of that. I don't want you to endure in such craziness like that. So I'm here to give you a couple of things in terms of phrasal verbs. So guys, again, I know a lot of you do love phrasal verbs and whatnot. And so here are a couple of things, and of course, you could do the task on your own, which are, of course, on my blog, thearseniobuckshow.com, or in the description as usual. So here we go, guys. Let's take a look at some of <coughs> – oh, my God. I think there's dust everywhere. Let's take a look at some of these sentences. So here we go. The A, B, C, D, E below. If you guys are actually looking at the blog, now we're going to be able to, we'll just listen to my beautiful voice while we're doing this. And I will give you explanation. We got on the first flight, but we got off due to a mechanical issue. So we got on, then we got off. So got on and got off, those are both phrasal verbs. So got on basically means, you know, getting onto something, right? So you could get, you could get on the train. Now got... And got, of course, got is the past tense of get. So, again, I am getting on the train. That's the present continuous. So you could switch the phrasal verb into a continuous if you'd like. All right? Now, I would say I normally get on the train at 8 a.m. to go to work. Yes, you could use it in the present simple affirmative. Now you can use it with the he, she, it, too. Gets on. She gets on. I normally catch. Do you understand? So... Get on, get off, got on, got off. Present simple, past, uh, past simple. All right? Now, I like this one. The number two is took off. The plane took off at around 8 p.m. About two hours. Now, take off. Now, of course, your flight attendants would say, okay, we're getting ready to take off. Now, you understand what take off means. That means we're getting ready to go. All right? Make sure you're taking some notes. Now, Took off, again, is the past tense of take off. All right? Now, got into. A lot of people ask me questions about into. How do we use that? Well, you know, with the into, you need a direct object, right? So you need – I'm getting into the car right now, okay? I'm getting on – no, you're not onto onto something. No, that's actually something else. But, yeah, into is when you're actually going into something. All right. So the noun is going to have to follow possibly by, again, an article such as the because you're talking about something specific. So she got into the car and she drove down the street. All right. That's a sentence. All right. So got into again. Now you have that explanation. Okay. Now breakdown is one of my favorites. Now you won't put breakdown together. It's going to be separated by some space. Just one space. All right, breakdown meaning, hey, you know what? Planes break down. The engine is broken down. Now, you could put breakdown into present perfect too. Has broken down. Oh, my car has broken down. Can you help me? All right. Or you could say, my car broke down. Can you help me? Now, normally in America, we just go with the past simple. We don't always do the present perfect. All right. So, break down, broken down, broke down. Got it? Break, broke, broken. All right, just depends on how you're going to write the sentence. So normally cars break down in America. Why? Because they are extremely old. You do not see cars breaking down as often here in Thailand because they are all new. They are all at least 2015 and higher. They get rid of all the old cars and ship them back to Japan. But you know what? The old, old, extremely but old buses. Yes, the buses that were built probably in the 1920s that are still out on the streets of Thailand. They break down all the time, baby. Do you understand? So here we go. I've already gone over it with get, gets, got, gots. Okay. He got, no, he gots off. No, you'll, you'll never say that. He got off. Yep, that's correct. Get say the subject pronoun it. Could you please tell me what time the flight from Paris gets in? Now, normally, uh, I would just say, do you? Could you please tell me what time 
but you know what? That's just my natural English. But gets in is a good phrasal verb to use at the end of that song. All right, so number six, checked in. Check in, checked in. Okay, she checked in at da 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 To V and Chan Lao again. And I'm hoping to bring on some very, very interesting people very, very soon. Um, And more than likely, they will be from Lao. But you know what? Or probably Sweden, if she concurs. But... I will go to Lao and check-in will open at about, I'm guessing, 6.30 at Bangkok Airport, also known as Suwanapum. So, of course, I will leave my home at about 5.20 to 5.25. And because it's to Vien Chan Lao, which is about an hour and 10 minutes away from Bangkok through air, it's crazy. That's basically the distance between Los Angeles and Las Vegas or Las Vegas and Phoenix. Um... It only takes an hour and ten, so of course there won't be long check-ins. I will be taking Bangkok Airways just because I do not like the other airports go. They do not like safety there, and honestly, I do not like Air Asia whatsoever, and they never give a real definitive reason to why they are late. Plus, Air Asia. Oh, man, I just can't deal with those people, man. I like Bangkok Airways. You want to know why? Because I get the free lounge. That's correct. If you ba- if you book a Bangkok Airways flight anywhere in Asia, you are able to use the lounge regardless of what class you are in. That is spectacular. Now, Singapore Airlines, maybe soon. Oh, I think lounges in airports will completely be overrun uh, very, very soon. Just because uh, I think all passengers should be able to avoid different things and amenities at certain prices, okay? So if you have $10, $20, $30, $40, you should be able to at least have a nice little sit-down. Airport in Singapore is the number one, and it's not even close because I don't need to pay extra to sit in the lounge. Okay, now I'm done with that rant. (laughs) My check-in, uh, the check-in gates open at 6.30. My flight leaves at 9.30. So, check-out is like when you're paying for something. But check-out, uh, that would be one word, okay? There won't be separation between check and out. Um, normally when you buy something online, it always says proceed to check-out, right? So, there it is. That's check-out. So, set off. I like that. I don't use, I never use this. But you know what? Set off, meaning we start it. All right, so you could say, hey, I started my journey at 10 a.m. Or I set off on my journey at 10 a.m. Another one I really like is get away. Now, it's not together. That's a completely different meaning. It's separated. Get away. And when I say get away, that means go away. Get away. Get away from where you are in your current state and go somewhere. You know what? I love to get away every two months. I absolutely do. And, of course, with the the year that is looming in next year, we got extremely exciting times approaching very, very soon. And I am super excited about them, too. Um, and it's going to be a massive. So, you know what? Uh, I like to get away, of course, in March. March is one of the best months to get away. My friend from, of course, he's graduating from Harvard, uh, Harvard's dental school. He wants me to meet him in March in Japan. I've agreed to that, but there's also a big race in Australia in March, so who knows what's going to happen. Let's just hope I have enough money. (laughs) Uh, 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 uh. And guys, with that being said, there you go. There's actually a very, very good task. Please tune into my blog to get the extras. Do not be lazy. The link is right down below for you guys to tune into my blog so you can, of course, enjoy all the nice little perks. All right? With that being said, guys, thank you so much for, again, tuning into another ESL podcast. I'm your host, Arsenio, as usual. Stay tuned for the next podcast, which is going to be on speaking, and we are going to speak about a journey. I'm going to give you my journey in terms of I going to Hawaii over and out.